Hi there, this is Amanda Hill from the Social Media Cafe and we're going to look at unhooking your Twitter account from your Facebook. So you must go up to here, can you see this little down arrow, it's a, a, like a little triangle upside down, and click on that and we're going to go to account settings. So there's all sorts of interesting things in here that you can change and you've got your general stuff which is your username and email, passwords, networks and all that good thing and of course don't forget to download your Facebook data from here as well and we've got lots of other things on here as well so we've got security which is also um, where deactivate your account is if that's what you want to do you've got notifications which some of you need to go and have some work on at some point but that's not for today you've got subscribers these are people who have um, subscribed to you or who you've subscribed to now Twitter your profile is linked so if you go to edit you can unlink it from Twitter straight away if that's what you want to do so that's where it lives and it's down to you whether you have it there or you don't have it there so up to here the down arrow go down to subscribers and unlink your profile from Twitter from here and what you're probably doing is you're probably linking to your Facebook account from Twitter as well so let's just have a quick nip over to there and I'm going in through Hootsuite and I'm going to go onto my own account by just clicking on myself or I could have just gone twitter.com forward slash Amanda underscore Hill I'll just click on here and this is my account now Twitter's changed fairly recently so some of the things that you were used to finding are possibly not where they used to be so let's just click here and you're going to click down to settings so when it thinks about showing me where settings are let's just show you a couple of the things on here so this is your basic stuff which is where all of that good stuff is your password is here mobile is here and obviously don't put that on unless you're absolutely comfortable with what's going to happen with it your notifications are all on here as well and you can decide what you're going to get when you're going to get it and that sort of thing just quickly back to mobile if I can just scoot down that's where the updates for sleep settings are so if you don't want to wake people up and you leave your phone on overnight you might want to look at turning those off and your profile is here as well so this is where you're going to put your 160 characters of really cool stuff and this is where you're going to disconnect it from your Facebook account if you want to do that so you can see that I allow it to go to my page but it to my fan page, the social media cafe, but it's not going to my profile. So you would want to untick that box if it's ticked, save your changes, and then that would stop that happening. I'm very happy for things to go to the fan page, but I don't really want to have that repeated in my ordinary feed. So if you're still having problems, don't forget to come and ask a question, fb.com forward slash the social media cafe. Otherwise, have fun, I'll speak to you soon.